what is up guys this is the book browser welcome to another video today we are wait did you hear that sound guys I think it's another book because today we're going to discuss the Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins some of you might think that why am I late reading this book but the answer is I have read this book a long time ago I just wanted to review this book on my channel so that's why I made a video I think most of you know what this book is all about because it's really famous and if you're one of those people who doesn't know about this book well have you been living under a rock or some distant place where people don't have books I doubted myself when I first purchased this book because I wasn't used in reading dystopian books I was used in reading middle grade books like Percy Jackson when the time came where I decided to buy this book I felt very happy because I knew at that time that I was going into another world, the dystopian world, and it was my first time reading a dystopian book. This book also became my stepping stone in reading other dystopian books. I won't discuss the plot of this book or the summary because I think most of you know what this book is all about. So let's just go straight into the discussion. Number one. Okay, so when I have read the first sentence of this book, I didn't get the word prim, okay? That might sound stupid, but it's true for me because the first sentences of this book are when I wake up the other side of the bed is cold my fingers stretch out seeking Prim's warmth but finding only the rough canvas cover of the mattress at first I thought about the word Prim and it came to me that Prim was a person okay I thought it was a thing or something and I was so stupid at that time I think the part when Katniss volunteered for Prim was one of the most iconic parts in this book. I still remember that scene fresh in my mind. So let's reenact that scene. Primrose Everdeen. I volunteer. Number two. It's very interesting to know about the life in District 12. It's very interesting to know about the different districts, you know, from District 1 up to District 12. Number three. I love the part when the designers of Katniss and Pita's costume lit their costumes on fire because their district specializes in coal mining and it was such a stunning scene to read about and by reading from the book it was very very interesting what more can you expect in the movie it's very very cool to see their costumes being lit on fire in the movies. Number four, now let's talk about the Mockingjay, the symbol of the Hunger Games. When we think about the Hunger Games, this is the first thing that comes to our mind, the Mockingjay. I appreciated how the Mockingjay became a part in this series because it has some kind of symbolism. For me, it symbolized freedom and power because a bird is like that, you know? It's free. And when you look at it, it's so majestic, like it has some authority. Number five. So Katniss and Pita went inside the arena and they met some friends and some enemies. And it was very exciting and full of suspense reading the arena because there are many people who are evil out there. Some can be your friends and some can be your enemies. Number six. I did not expect the ending where one would have to kill the other because Katniss and Pita were the only ones left at the arena and I love that they made the choice to threaten the game makers that they will both commit suicide or they would be approved to win the game so those were all of my opinions based on The Hunger Games the first book in The Hunger Games trilogy by Suzanne Collins be sure to subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell and I'll see you in the next video and as always, keep reading.